I'm Sarah. And I'm Alice. And this is Our Stitching Kingdom. And I want to welcome you back. It's Friday, December 18th, 2020. And almost Christmas. Almost Christmas. One of our probably second to last. Um, or maybe third to last. I don't know. We might have a whip parade. Oh, set up your leaning against me there. Um, of the year. It's crazy that September or December has gone by so fast. Alice wanted to show you something before she had to go and read for 20 minutes. So I could get a scooter. They're doing a contest at school during the break. So, um, I, I'm working on my purse, um, and I'm working on number six, which is the last color I need to do. And she doesn't have very many left. She only has a couple things. Mm -mm, a lot more. Right here. She's got so she's got this whole half of the purse in the sixes left to do. Mm -hmm. And you got some fuzzies on it. <laughs> and tell her or tell them where you got the purse from. Um Vicky Stitch and Button. Mm -hmm. So we love Vic. She's awesome. Check her out. Okay, are you gonna go read? Yeah. Okay. What do you say? Bye Floss too. And Merry Christmas and happy, happy New Year and happy Hanukkah. Okay, and happy Festivus and Kwanzaa and all those holidays that fall in the December time period. So, okay, go read. I learned about Australia, Australia's Christmas tradition. <laughs> that was pretty fun because we've got some friends that live in Australia, huh? Yeah. All right. I shut, shut the door. the door. Thank you. All right, and. Okay. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want it. Okay, you can go wear it. And then, so we've got a couple of finishes. And Alice has an almost finish. I've got a couple of finishes. This is a map of Switzerland that um, I got off of Etsy. And this heart right here, and it's in the heart is in a toile, and then the map itself, the border, is done in a um, variegated floss from DMC. And so this heart right here is Zurich, which is the capital of Switzerland. And this heart right here is the area that my husband lived in. I got a surprise. Shh, go. Can I mm -hmm. Is the area that my husband lived in when he lived in Switzerland for two years. And it also is one of the cities that's in this area is called Arosa. And that is Alice's middle name. So kind of fun, little trivia, but there's one finish and I have two finishes. The second one is Lindy Stitches. This is one of the um, Representation Matter cells that um, people have been stitching. And this is turned into a dragon and it says Onward Noble Steed. Super fun. This was a free pattern on Lindy Stitches. Um, you had to be subscribed to her newsletter. So I don't know if it's still available. Go check her newsletter out. I'm super excited for her new style that's starting, the Funky Menagerie. So that will be fun. But yes, two finishes, super exciting. Thanks to Cheryl's Group and Wood Wranglers. And so that's where we've gotten there. Um, more progress. Oh, and you know, I wanted to say thank you to um, my friends that are returning and if you're new welcome and we do cross stitch and diamond painting I have a oh a little bit of knitting I have to go grab so um, this is my significant otter and this is by volcano stitching so I've got most of that cute little otter done um, and there it's actually a really long piece so it's gonna go that long and I will be right back. I'm going to go grab my knitting because I've actually gotten kind of far on it. I'm so proud. So one moment. Okay, we're switching to my phone. So <laughs> I was getting memory card errors. So hopefully this goes okay. Um, I had pretty much recorded like everything and realized that there was memory card errors. So I'd shown you the otters. And then I had also worked on... Spell of the Moon by Blackboard Designs. This is available in their new um, Winds of Autumn book. And so if you've not gotten the little one before, 
There it is. And I put in the house. And we've got, it snowed, so we've got, you know, slushy roads. That's what you can hear going by. Um, and then I also worked on, and these were rip, whip wrangler pieces. Also, um, tag from Cheryl McKinney's Cross Stitch and Daily, Journal and Daily 30 group. And then, um, there was some magical stitches that I was doing too. And then another one that was drawn on Whip Wranglers is, it's called Life from Lizzie Kate. It says, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. And I think this is a really good um, mantra for this year um, because lots of people have had different storms, lots of different types of storms, um, but they're all storms nonetheless. So I finished out Pass over here added this motif at the bottom and then there's one more motif right here that I need to add um, and then I can move on to the bottom part. There's a bead. Um, I think it's actually a um, it's a dragonfly that goes in this in this spot right there. So all right yeah I had gotten to the hall and I just hope my phone camera <laughs> I've not done this on my phone before. Um, I've also worked on, let's see, for Whip Wranglers. Um, this was drawn, it's put on the hat. And I used it for a tag as well. This is by Hands On Design. And this is how far I've gotten. I um, put on the, I, I put, I got on the and then part of the broom at the bottom there. And that's the around the holidays. I've already gotten the uh, Hear the Bells finished. And so they're fun to do. And then um, my most recent one that I'm going to work on for Whip Wranglers, I've got a couple more pieces, but. Um, just because it's here is another hands-on design around the holidays. This is where Liberty Dwells was drawn. And this is the second time it was called for Whip Wranglers, so I only have to do half. Um, I, I pulled uh, 500, or yeah, 500 stitches, so I only have to do 250. And so that's where I'm at on there. And then um, also Owl Forest Embroidery. The whale is what I call it. And you can order these online. It takes a little bit because they're from Russia, but I love them. They're so fun. And they come with the floss and uh, the fabric. They do not leave a lot of room for margin, but that's okay. Um, but I got clear over here. I finished this. I got over here. This is the whale, his eye. He looks a little stoned in some of them, which is really funny, um, but move that string that floss eh, doesn't want to but I worked on that for Ratoon as well as it being drawn for Whip Wranglers so that was fun and I really enjoy working on that one I can't wait to I'm still trying to figure out how to work my work my whips next week next year so um, also someone who hasn't been stitched on for a while is my Annie because she looks like a little orphan Annie with that red dress and my monkey dressed monkey on throne and that's from Artfire um, it's a um, Canadian Etsy basically and this is how far I got jeez oh that's cute it's cuphead huh and um, this is how far I got I switched from one over one full cross to oh, half cross two over one or two over, yeah, half cross. Um, you can see right here is where the toilet paper roll is starting. And then um, this is the bottom of page, two, bottom of page one. And then it kind of, this is actually page two right here is where it's kind of bled over, um, but it just makes more sense. And then I'm gonna fill, this is a lot of just this green. So this is crazy girl, hi. All right, and then I've been knitting, which was really cool. I figured out my cast on was being all kinds of wonky. So once I got that figured out, everything's been smooth sailing and I'm working on the simple, oops, 
sorry about that, it's free, but Simply an Effective Cowl um, from Tin Can Knits. It's just tincanknits.com. Um, I think I got it from their Ravelry, but um, so here's where I am. It's super squishy yarn, it's so soft. And you can see it started out with pearls, and then we went to a, some knit roll, or knit roll, row, and then, um, yeah, because this is the front of the work, and then we're back to purling. So, super excited. I really like it. Um, made some good progress on it. And now I just have to repeat the pattern that it's in until it is 9.75 inches. So, kind of fun. Really liked working on that in the car. Um, I also was able to get to snag one of um, A.M. Drake on Etsy, or not on Etsy, on Instagram. Um, she's made Michelle Bendy's, or she's, Michelle Bendy has gotten a couple of cross-stitch journals from her. This is one of them that I got. I snagged, I just had my notifications turned on. That's the inside, and she included some ephemera to add on. There's stickers, lots of fun little things, and a sample of soap. It smells really good. I'm super excited about that. Um, so I'm going to be, got a couple of cross stitch journals I'm going to be putting stuff in when I get the time. So, and then I also got a card from the Shank family. So from Kat, she's cross stitching in chaos and, um, she does some dyeing as well. And, um, Enchanted Stitching Challenges is um, her group. So it's a frozen card and it says magical chill fills the air um, and warm wish it, warm happy wishes fill our hearts. And it's from Kat, Nick and Deborah on the couch, which I love. Um, and she also included a Karen Wildflowers, which is the pearl cotton. Super pretty, this is the color Spice. And um, it said, and the note in here says it was part of her grandmother's stash. She says she left me way more than I could ever use in a lifetime. I don't know what project she may have used this in, but I know she would have loved it for, loved for it to find a home with another stitcher. And so, I'm very honored that, um, that somebody chose chose to pass some of their grandma's stash onto me, especially knowing the relationship that Kat and her grandmother had. So it was a very special relationship. So thank you, Kat. I'm very, very blessed, very honored. Um, thank you and wishing you and yours happy holidays. Um, and um, my cards have not been <laughs> good with the cards this year. So hopefully you can see my mess up there. Gracious goodness. It's been, it's, it's a train wreck today. Um, and my fabric of the month came from Live and Die LA. If you haven't gotten yours yet, now's your chance. I've already taken it out of the bag because we already did this once already. <laughs> and so here it is. It is called Hazy Shade of Winter. Now the song's in my head. And um, it's a 32 count Opal Lugana the December fabric of the month and it is beautiful I love it and um, one of my Christmas presents I'm thinking is gonna look really really pretty on that I'm so excited it's gorgeous modeling I mean it's I'm really kind of bummed that it's my last one from there um, just because I've got got to um, I've got three fabric of the months I'm in and I'm like I can't do three so um, I'm just gonna keep the other two but I'm super excited to use that one I think that was it for that now moving on so these are um, from Mystic Fabrics um, two of them are grab bags and one is her mystery bag that I was able to snag um, basically it was a Christmas present to myself because <laughs> they are kind of spendy. So, um, one thing that people are like, you know, they see floss tube and they're like, Oh, I have to have all the things or feeling, you know, the fear of missing out. The FOMO is real. 
But you also have to understand that not everybody is in the same um, ability to do Fabric of the Month Club or, you know, the Floss of the Month Clubs. You know, I'm very, you know, I count myself lucky and, you know, try to save and, you know, just, you'll get there. You know, don't feel sad or, you know, you just do what you can do and you can always, you know, try to dye your own fabric. You can, um, you know, use stuff from your stash or there's, there's lots of different ways to make things uniquely yours, which I love. Um, so going, moving on, this is a 32 Lugana grab bag. I think both of them are, oh, one is Lugana and one is linen because things are different. Um, and this is a four piece. And there's a really pretty purple. This fun green. That's a nice Gary green. <laughs> this nice lemony yellow. And this really pretty, it's kind of a peach neutral. I really like that. So that was that. And then my next one is 32 count linen. And I actually have a both purple, so you can really see the difference in the modeling and stuff. It's kind of hurting, I guess. I have no clue how much storage I have. But this one's a really pretty purple. But you can see there's more modeling in this linen, too. And it also depends on if it's sized or unsized. I really like this blue. And then this like tealy kind of sea foamy. And it's really pretty yellow. And it's also the linen has the wrinkles in it too, which I really kind of like. It's really pretty green. I like this orange. This really pretty pale pink. And this is all mystic fabrics and then this fun little kind of a red. Ooh reddish pink so that was fun and and then here's the mystery um, grab bag so and if you haven't gotten yours or if you're waiting or um, look away spoiler spoiler spoilers so <laughs> And there's lots of really fun stuff in here. Um, she did write a note explaining some of the things. Um, one of the really cool things that she included was a sample ring of all the different fabrics that's out there. So there's everything from 14 Charles Craft Ada to Zweigart Ada to some 56 count linen. Um, and which is really kind of cool. So, and oh, phone's being dumb. Okay. So I got to hurry. <laughs> it's a hot mess kind of day. So there's three fabrics in here that go along with three charts that came. One is Hildy's Hayride. One, or there's four charts, sorry. One is Fairy Ring Around the Rosy, which goes with, I have to find it. I was super excited. Um, this is my first Trenway, um, Trenway Silk, and this is called um, Mystic Fairy. This is actually something that they dyed for Misty at Mystic Fabrics, and um, then Tracy over at Ink Circles designed this pattern with this fat with this floss, and then the linen is this really pretty. It's called Pearl. So she basically kitted something for us in this. And there's also a needle minder in here too. So super excited for that. Um, put that all together. 
and another one is called Dilly Dahlia by Ink Circles and there's finishing in it and then this one is she also included it's called lemon dress and it's an opal linen for that and then this one's called petal pusher and it's a roll your own basically you can choose which one you want to do and then it's in veritas which is it's really pretty opal so that's the fabric that goes with it and then like i said hilly's hayride we got i love pat the toad super fun and then we got some more goodies um a magnet board candy there's cinnamon altoids and those fun little cinnamon butter balls um these really pretty scissors and they're serrated and then these ones are easy guide ball tip needles which i've never used i don't do a lot of sewing in hand so that might be fun to use. Um, some fray stop, because that's handy. A stitch gauge, which is always handy to have. These are kind of interesting, they're thread straighteners, so you can use it for your Krynik or, um, let's see here, synthetic silk twisted and metallic threads. So you kind of tie it, twist it around there and kind of just gently pull it and it's supposed to untangle it. Uh, this is a bead picker upper, a bead nabber they call it. And then, last but not least, two little bags. This one is a tape measure, which is super cute. Because who doesn't need tape measures? And they retract. I'm actually going to keep that in my knitting bag because I'm going to need something for measuring. And then couple of these cool little needle minders and like I said one of them goes with the um, ink circles pattern so there it is cute little pattern and then I love this one it says me please so that's what I got that was kind of a treat to myself for surviving 2020 knock on wood because it's not over yet but we you know life goes on and things are getting looking up getting better um i think a lot of it is how you perceive it and how your attitude is and you know be kind be a good human um if i didn't say it before i'm so very grateful for your viewership your friendship um coming back and visiting when i record and the fun comments we have in the fun, fun conversation we have in the comments and um i try to answer them or at least heart them showing that i've listened that i've read them um it's been really neat and i've been real and i'm really appreciative of it so grateful for you all um whether you're new or old or you know just lurking it's fine happy to have you um i hope you all have a Happy holiday season coming up. Um, we're only about a week away from Christmas. So um, I just hope everybody stays safe, stays healthy, be smart about what you need to do. And we will talk to you later. Have a great time. Love you. Bye.